Check it out now, Lil Uzi Vert and Reese LaFlair. Not to be confused, by the way, with Lil Reese, the Grim Reaper. Now, if you guys don't know, uh, Lil Uzi Vert and Reese LaFlair, they've actually had some words a couple of months ago, back in April, when basically this started, at least on social media. This, there's been some stuff going on in the background, of course, that we all don't know. But it started on social media. Ozzy Mako, he kind of came out and he said, listen, bruh, uh, if you guys don't know, I influence niggas like Uzi, right? Now, Uzi took offense to it, and also, OG Mac also claimed that Reese LaFlair influenced Uzi. Now, basically, there was some words back and forth. Uh, Reese LaFlair even claimed that, yo, you took the sauce or you stole my swag, and pretty much that's what you are now. Um, and, of course, Uzi, which didn't agree with him, responded and basically said, listen, I take shit from you, and also called him a clown claimed, claiming he punched up on him, all right? Now, the, the remaining tweets, because a bunch of tweets were deleted, uh, it's Reese LaFleur saying niggas love to steal my swag, that make up lies, like to stop it. Nobody ever heard of Lil Uzi Vert until I started doing songs with them and putting them on the platform to help him. And it went on and on. He even put up a post on Instagram where he was showing from when he was actually um, down with Uzi. Okay, so before the fame days, all right? And he says, I'm the reason he got there. Exhibit A, 2014, he was with me because I was around drama and Wiz Khalifa. Then he says, Exhibit B, he be talking about rappers and calling them gay, but he hangs out with them, all right? And then, Exhibit C, he says, I made an album with Lil Uzi Vert two years ago and didn't put it out because he's a line social climber. Then he says, I made you relevant off my swag, Lil Uzi Vert, stop lying, I'm out peace. Now, this weekend, they actually ran into each other, and obviously, as you guys saw in the video, they got into some war of words. Obviously, nobody got hit, there was not an actual fight, but clearly these niggas ain't cool. Now, again, man, I think this is something that needs to be worked out behind the scenes. Uh, to be honest, I feel like these dudes used to be cool. They used to be cool for whatever reason. And, you know, people like, you know I mean, sometimes you grow apart or sometimes you just don't fuck with somebody after a while, right? And it appears that's what the case is, but we're seeing way too many public things. But I wish they would just work this out in the background. Some people say it's jealousy. Some people say they're jealous of Uzi's, like, rise to fame because, I'm not going to lie, I've said before, Uzi's definitely out in front of most of these new artists. Um, but a lot of people disagree. A lot of people disagree, and they're just saying they have legit reasons not to fuck with Uzi and to say their side of the story, especially if they don't have the platform like Uzi. Again, nobody fought. But that's an incident that happened. Um, according to everybody around him, they say it's a mix of jealousy to just hatred to, like, there's legit issues. I don't know. I don't know. Okay? And by the way, we did have Uzi saying, uh, 21 years old, smacking up a 30-year-old. And then he says, I, I keep forgetting these niggas. Rats. All right. So, hopefully, man, they work it out. But uh, we don't know, man. We don't know. Also, Reese LaFlair, he did put out 180 Seconds, I believe that's a song, it was a diss song to Uzi, a lot of people liked it, a lot of people liked this song, so if y'all got time, go check that out, and go check him out, maybe, maybe um, listen, you could see the influence there, or maybe you're like, what the fuck is this guy talking about, you be the judge, get in the comments, make sure you guys like, definitely subscribe to Watch Academics, I'm out!